Okay, I am not by any means saying that I'm a Victoria's Secret model, but I have to say, being a decently attractive girl or like cute girl, hot girl, whatever, professional, whatever, men never head on me or approach me in real life. They will like me on dating apps, send me the roses, blah, blah, blah. Um, or if they find a way to somehow find me digitally, a lot of times they don't go in my DMs either. Um, but like they never want to, or, or a lot of times people will reach out via a friend, like I'm interested in her, give her my number instead of just finding me and DMing me. But today I was sitting, um, at a little place to have lunch in Tampa, Florida, um, there's so much damage to my accounts in, uh, the South Tampa area. So I was unable to finish my work day and my uh, day for tomorrow was canceled. So I'm heading back home, but I was f sitting on a bench trying to figure out what I was going to do, um, because I was <laughs> frustrated and I was just, I was just sitting there and two guys walked past me and one of them turned around. He goes, I am so sorry, but like, I saw you sitting here, you're smiling, it looks like you're trying to work, but, like, I have to introduce myself to you because I think you are so pretty and you look so nice. Y'all. Like, he wasn't weird, he was funny, like, if Mormon had this energy and the way that they approached me, like, do you know how much better of a world we'd live in if, like, men approached women like that and were just nice? Like... <laughs> and I ended up asking, I was like, honestly, when guys walk past me, like, I'm assuming they're making fun of me or something. I don't know why they stare at me. And he literally was like, well, it's definitely not making fun of you. <laughs> Just such a confidence booster. And every time I go to Tampa, I feel like something nice happens to me like that. And St. Pete. I think the real issue here is that women need to understand that they can portray that they're unapproachable. You know, if you're constantly looking at your phone, you know, you have your shades on, you're constantly looking down or you're constantly looking some other way. And you're, you know, you're not giving a man any indication that, that you're interested in him. You're not looking at him. You're not smiling. You know, you're not looking back. You're not doing all of that. You're just walking straight ahead with your nose up, blocking out the sun. Men are not going to approach you. Another thing you need to understand is that a lot of men just don't have game. They don't have the ability to do that. A lot of men don't have that confidence. Yeah, there are men that do have that confidence, but they're rare. They really are. And another thing is that she has low self-esteem. That's what I think. I think that's part of her issue. She has low self-esteem. But she needs to be working on that herself instead of trying to look for men to give her that, that reassurance. You see what I mean? Because... A lot of women that are attractive like her, every day they look in the mirror, they see things that they don't like. And they're, comparison, uh, com comparison. they're comparing themselves to other women that they think look better than they do, have a better body than they do. So you could see the most beautiful person, in, in, woman in the world, and you think she's, she's the best you've ever seen. But even that woman is going to have some type of hangups about herself, some type of insecurities. And a lot of women have insecurities. It doesn't matter if they're tens or if they're ones. They just have insecurities. It's like that with a lot of women. So she needs to work on that. Stop looking for men to validate that in her. But the bottom line is just be more approachable. And you notice she said, the guy said that he saw me and I was smiling. That's another thing women don't do. Women think the resting bitch face is like the go-to. Like I should just do that because it makes me look so powerful and I'm such, such an independent woman. Well, being looking mean, mad dogging, all those type of behaviors are extremely masculine. Men, for the most part, want feminine women. We want to see a smile. We want to see a, a bright, shiny aura. We want to see a, a person that has empathy that has compassion a person that is nice to other people a person that is not so into themselves that you get in a relationship with them and you have to worry well when do i matter so those are the things that men look for but you have to give men some type of indication that you are approachable because look at it from a man's standpoint 
if a lot of men just suddenly start approaching women, a lot of men will end up in jail. Because there's a lot of women out there that even look at the approach as being creepy or a man stalking them. So men have to tread very, very, very lightly when it comes to that. It's like a very thin line that you can't cross. Because there's some women out there that are that mental that they will actually accuse men of something. So that's another thing that men have to consider. So it's not as simple as, oh, men just don't want to approach me. Make it clear that you're interested and you will have more men that actually approach you in a general way. But if a man feels like he has to fight through all of this just to get to talk to you and all that, no, it's just a waste of time. And as we know, time is our most valuable asset and we should never, ever waste it. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this video, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'm definitely trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate that. If you're on TikTok, make sure to give me some love over there and give me a follow. I'd appreciate it. With that said, I'm out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.